My name is Sarah Jean, and I ha I'm a mother of four, and I work, um, I'm a nurse. I don't know what else to say about myself. <laughs> That's fine. I'm 38 years old. I think I'm 38. I can't remember how old I am. I was born in 75, and my birthday's in June, so that makes me 38, right? No, that makes me 37. Going to be 38. I used to ride bike a lot. I did, I did a lot of sprint triathlon, that kind of stuff. Biking was my favorite, and I liked swimming. I wasn't very routine with it, but in the summertime, I did a lot of biking. Uh, my friend Krista Pugh, she had a, she was here I think five months prior to me and she had a really good experience with it and she loved it. So she said you need to come with me. Do you want me to tell you about the whole, okay. So um, I had a history of addiction and alcoholic and I ended up going to rehab for it because it was out of control. Made my life very unmanageable and um, it was starting to affect my marriage and my friendships and I finally realized I did have a problem and it was not anything I could control. So I ended up having to get treatment for it and I went to rehab for it up in Minnesota. When I was in the, or the detox unit, I was hurting really bad. I was there for 24 hours and then I had to go up to my unit where I was going to stay for three months. I remember hurting physically really, really bad. It hurt to even turn a doorknob or hold a glass of water. Every fiber in my body hurt really bad. My knuckles hurt, my knees hurt, and not only that, but mentally and spiritually, I was hurting really bad. I was in a hopeless state of mind. And um, I remember going up a flight of stairs and then having to just take one step at a time because it was so, um, it was just really, I was just out of breath and I just hurt so bad. And then now, as I bounce up a flight of stairs, I reflect back at how challenging that was. I'll like stop at the top of the stairs and I'll be like, I can't believe how easy that was. And I try not to take that for granted. CrossFit has helped me um, spiritually, mentally, and physically grow in ways no other fitness program or sport ever has. And I, I look forward to coming in to do a workout every single day that I come here. Even though there's things I don't like to do, I still look forward to coming here in every day. And um, I've never had that before. And I ended up being discharged early because I was recovering so good, but I wasn't ready to leave. So when I came here, I was really having a hard time white knuckling up. And um, my friend Krista knew about this and she said, you need to try CrossFit. And at first I was like, no, that's not what I need. And um, I was kind of reluctant at first, but she said, I'll pick you up tomorrow. So I came here with her and I pretty much was hooked ever since. I just, um, it just really helps me mentally too because I do have a lot of anxiety problems and issues and because of the addiction I can't take anything for the anxiety. So CrossFit helped me with that and it got pretty bad around the holidays where I didn't even want to come in here because I was scared to be around people. I would feel like I'm going to have a panic attack at any moment. So I didn't show up for like a week or two and then Ahmed, being the great guy, he was, texted me and said, where have you been? And I just kind of told him, this is the situation. I'm terrified to come in. So he helped me a lot by reassuring me that there's people are here to help. Um, and if you do need help with anything, we will help you with that. Just let us know. I'll do whatever I can to help you out. Krista, the same way. She would just come in and she'd like cheer me on and be like, are you doing okay? And over time, I just kind of developed a habit of talking to my trainers and saying, you know, today I'm pretty anxious today. I'm having a really hard time today. So if I pass out, if I wobbly, it's because I'm dizzy with anxiety, not because I'm drunk. 
So um, that helped out a lot because they said, okay, we'll help you out with that and just take it one thing at a time. And then over time, it just got better and better. Now, the fear is hardly there anymore. It's part of my everyday recovery program. There's other things I do too, but this is a big part of it. There's something I have to look forward to, or something that I know I have like a support system here. So that helps out a lot. I don't know. I was just telling a friend of mine today that I don't like burpees, I don't like rowing, I don't like running, I don't like, <laughs> don't like any of that stuff. But I feel good when I do it. And I just take it one thing at a time. Like today, I took one burpee at a time. And somebody said, you can't take two burpees at a time. I'm like, I probably could. So do double burpees? No. But that's what I try to do, just one thing at a time. Um, I probably like the lifting the most. And the short wads, like two minutes, three minutes. <laughs> Um, not to let it intimidate you, that it does seem pretty scary at first, it's like, oh my god, you guys do crazy, insane things, but if you start, I think a lot of the trainers here like that people start out, like, way down here and they work their way up. They like to see, that's inspirational, to see somebody come in and they can't do anything, and they like seeing that growth. So just don't give up and keep coming back. It works. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of everything. It's, it's the growth that I have physically. And it's like I said the other day, I realized, holy crap, I don't come in here thinking I'm not going to make it through the workout because I'm going to have a panic attack. I, I come in here and I'm and I have a workout and, and then I leave. It's almost like I just see a huge growth in that. It's, I, I remember being so scared when I first came in. So it's that and just the growth physically, is, you know, the, the PR, the personal records, you know. Oh my gosh, I can lift 45K clean and jerk now. I couldn't do that before. And I remember when I was doing push presses with just the bar and I was like, mm -hmm. It's funny to see people freeze like this, but it's just the physical growth and then the, the, just the connection that people have here too. I noticed that people make friends with each other and they just have that kind of bond too, unlike anything else I've ever seen. Because I've done other things like Next Level and they're so busy doing things that there's no bonding time. Here there's a little bit of that little bonding time. That's my opinion.